No, no, the 5-5 the five five that you can't target, you have to discard, you know, like... Yeah, maybe that's even beneficial, because you get to discard a creature... Yeah, yeah. Yes, the Cascade one, yeah. Um, man, we didn't win a single dice roll this, this league. All of our opponents rolled sixes, and we rolled not sixes. But this is a perfectly good hand. We've got triple blade spicer, so someone's gonna... Oh, Eye of Ugin, here we go. Here we go, kids. <laughs> this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see these Eye of Ugin decks. And he's going to play double Eldrazi Mimic on turn one. Alright, that's that's a pretty solid start. So we're going to go... I think we're going to go for the Hierarch into Blade Splicer. As opposed to Vile into Blade Splicer. Because I want to be fast with this. Like, this guy's going ham. We need to, uh, we need to be on the board quickly. So, he's going to attack for four. I'm I'm very happy that there's no follow-up to these Eldrazi Mimics. Uh, in the mono white deck, I've actually been playing uh, Acacian Javelineers again. Um, that card's hilarious against uh, against Eldrazi Mimics and similar, like the Sky Spawner and stuff. You can just throw a Javelin at one of them, kill it in response to the trigger, and then reset it with your Flicker Wisp or similar. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have this. He doesn't have dismember. Cool. All right, let's go crazy with some blade splices. He's going to have a rough time getting through our three blade splices. Um, even multiple dismembers, multiple four fours and stuff. Like Having more than one blade splicer is, is amazing. Path to exile this, great. Okay, we will definitely take planes. That's fine. Uh, if he again doesn't have a follow up, we can just block a mimic with a 1-1. One -one. Excuse me, and then next turn play a blade splicer in the vial. <laughs> Playing dismember on the one one, so he doesn't have a follow up. So he's just used two removal spells on one creature, which also netted us a land and four life. Like I really think blade splicer is super powerful in this matchup. Uh, some friends of mine have been trying to shave it because they're not so convinced, but I think this just proves my point. Like he's two for one himself and paid four life to get four damage in and then we're just going to play another one we're sure we're on 12 already but we have kitchen finks to to shore that up in a minute <laughs> arbiter's nice i mean maybe rather than playing the blade splicer we can just double ghost quarter him and put him on no lands i mean <laughs> i am perfectly okay with doing exactly that. I'm going to play this. Then I'm going to destroy his Eye of Ugin. He's not going to be able to pay for it. He's going to complain, he's going to whinge. Then I'm going to play another Ghost Quarter. And then I'm going to say, get wrecked, kid. So now he can't cast any spells and he can't attack. And then I'm going to play my Vile just for safe measure. Alright, we're really, really far ahead right now, I think, on turn 4. Okay, he drew a temple. Pretty good. We're gonna trade. I mean, it, it is an aggro deck, for the most part. Uh, we can now play... Uh, I'm going to represent path with the Hierarch rather than attacking, I think. Or do I, no, I don't care. I'm just attacking for one. Sure. Let's get in. No need to represent path when we have four power first strike. Well, three first strike. <laughs> yep, so that's not even a game. He's just conceded. That was fast. That was quicker than us losing to living in there. Right, I'm happy that we're finally getting to play against Eldrazi, because they're really, really interested in how good they are against us. I think I'm bringing in these four cards. So that's uh, Wiltly Fleege for the uh, discard on Reality Smasher. We're bringing in Ghostly Prison, because most of the time they don't have that much enchantment removal. They have the Thought Not Spirit or similar, and their Soul Lands don't produce two to <laughs> attack into it. Um, Celestial Flare is something that I'm trying. I don't think it's going to be that good, but if they just attack with, like, say, one Drowner of uh, 
I don't even know what it's called. The 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 blue five five. If they attack with just that, then we can snag it. You know, uh, or we can set up favorable attacks with our first strike and then snag the last creature that way. Um, I like Lumvala in this matchup. I think she's good against Displacer and the Drowner, uh, so they can't use their activated abilities. Cuts, however, I'm not sure. I don't think we want the Ewit. Uh, Flickwisp was great because we get to blink the um, Endless ones out of the way. Uh, I have actually been playing so far. I've been playing a really grindy matchup instead, and I've been playing the Ewit and the Thrag Tusk. So I just want to try a different approach to the matchup to see how that works out. I think Arbiter's not actually very good in this matchup. It is just a 2-2. Two -two. Yes, it trades with the 2-1, um, the but so do all of our 3-drops. Maybe actually, maybe I don't want the Celestial Flare. Celestial Flare doesn't seem that great. Maybe this is more where we want to be. I, I don't like being this low on the 2 curve, but maybe it's okay. I think we'll try it, and then we've always got time to play game 3 with a different configuration. Um, I do want Thrag Tusk, though. What do we cut for a Thrag Tusk? Do we want... Like, Finks is great, Flickwisp is great, the Space is great, Blaze Blaze is great, Resto is great. Thalia and Arbiter aren't, but we're really messing with our curve if we start cutting these down. Hmm. If I cut this and bring this in, that really looks bad on our curve, but it does allow our worship on our ghostly prison to happen, I guess. Let's try this. This is, and I don't think this is correct, but we'll give that a go. We'll see what happens. We've got Vile. Vile is good. We have redundant copies of Vile. It's a little slow though. We're gonna we're gonna keep this one. Like he can. I mean, depends how fast he is. I mean, we draw land, then we get to play Arbitron two anyway. It's just gone basic planes go. I like that start. Basic Planes Go is probably my favourite line in Magic when I don't have turn 1 Vile or turn 1 Mother of Runes. So we're not getting a super explosive start from him, which is good. And that means he's on blue-white Eldrazi, which is exactly what we want to see. So we'll put a counter on this. So... What's he doing? <laughs> I'd love to be able to snag this, but I don't think I can. Like, he'll probably fetch and step. So, I can play... He doesn't have any pressure in play, so I don't think I need to commit the Arbiter. I think I'd rather just play Temple Garden tapped in another Aether Vile. So, we've got set up and redundancy now. Um, because we can just start curving out now. We get to play three drop, violin the two drop. There's no instant speed threats from the Eldrazi deck. <laughs> Hallowed Fountain. Okay. I really do like the artwork on this Hallowed Fountain. That's I think one of the only shock lands I prefer the new art to the old art. Eldrazi Displacer. That's fine. We we love Eldrazi Displacer against us because everything that it can flicker gives us value. So he actually his Displacer is really trash on the um, uh, on defense. You know, like like he's only blinking his creatures for value because he definitely doesn't want to blink ours. Some some very lovely lady just bought me pizza, um, so I'm very grateful for that. Whilst I'm sat here recording for you guys, someone's looking out for me, and they just bought me pizza over, which is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna play the blade splicer first. He can't attack into us then. He can flick the tokens actually. That was that was not smart. He can flick the tokens, but I mean if. He's 
blocking the token to get him for three. Oh, gut shot. Okay. Okay, gut shot and his whole turn in exchange for a blade splicer. Is that what he's doing? No. Thought knots here. Okay, that's bad for us because I really want this intrepid hero to uh to happen. <laughs> I really wanna. I really, really want to play Intrepid Hero against him. Uh, that's also not good against Displacer, but whatever. Um, he has to blink it, stop it from doing its thing. But then again, it takes up his turn, so... Unless he creates some form of serious pressure soon, he can't spend his turns blinking our Intrepid Hero. I think he might even take it. And next time we get to play Finks, and then Violin Flick Wisp on it. We're playing against Blue White Eldrazi finally. In the four he took the intrepid hero with the Thought Knots here. Yep, this is round five. Um, that's really funny. I love that he's taken this innocuous little one one. Look at this guy killing an, a cow or a minotaur or something. I don't know. This card's hilarious. You know, so if you get too on tap with it, you can just gun down the guys every turn. I mean, I kind of want to message him and be like, do you mind, because we're trying to test this card, but... I mean, it's pretty okay that uh, he took it. That means it's doing its job. This is great, actually. Uh, it's a shame we didn't draw the land. I'm uh, going to play Kitchen Finks. I'm going to gain two life. Not going to attack at all into a Thought Knot Seer, that doesn't seem great. Um, I'm really hoping he doesn't play like uh, Soul Land into Drowner. Drowner's just really big and I don't like the ones, but Limvala does shut it down, so it's not awful. Don't play another Thought Knot, please. Oh dear. Oh dear. So... I guess our Limvala disappears? <laughs> That's rough. That's really rough. I mean, he has to take Limvala because otherwise his Eldrazi Displacer is just a 3 3. And that doesn't line up well against tokens that we have, you know. Um, yeah. So Lamvala's gone, Intrepid Hero's gone. So that's our two key cards that we wanted to play against this deck have gone. So now I'm starting to think that maybe we should... Uh, it's like playing against Thoughtseize decks, isn't it? It's like, a, ah, why did I do this in my end step? That's a failure on my part. I don't have a stop set in his main phase. Okay. Well, that'll come back in my end step now. That's super important if you are playing in Compariel to remember when you are flickering things that things come back in the next end step. Uh, I'm going to play the High Rock. I'm going to battle for four flying. He can dismember it or path it if he wants. Fine with that. Uh, next turn, if we draw the land, then we get to um, then we get to Gavany, and then we start to be able to compete with those four fours. Uh, he seems a little flooded, but he can probably just hard cast a Drowner of Hope now. That's what it's called, Drowner of Hope. I couldn't, I couldn't recall exactly. Yeah. So it's a real shame that we didn't get our. Uh, what's it called? Our um, Limvala. I would really, really have liked the Limvala. So I guess we want to draw land, right? That doesn't happen often. Oh, that's always no to this ability. This is a good draw. This is really good, actually. Getting uh, our creature's first strike again is is sweet. Then we get to just double block something and eat something for free. 
if he doesn't hold up. Ah, oh, Displacer. Man, that Limvala would have been really... Oh, I just skipped my attack phase. Oh, dear. What a waste. Alright, we, we fucked this game then. <laughs> I really, really hate Magic Online. Let's just set up all the stops. Because I'm fed up with missing things. <laughs> this place is really good against our tokens. Maybe we need to go back to the drawing board with this. I'm going to keep it in hand for now. I don't think it's worth uh, playing into his uh, double displacer activation. Oh, let's always yield no to this. I'm glad she told me that because I waste so much time clicking the fucking Aether Vile triggers. We can't get Limvala back either, she's been exiled. Worship is great. Right, I'm going to attempt to attack again. Right. Tap target creature. Okay, he's going to sack a Scion here. Do we want to attack with anything else? We do not. Right, what we're going to do is post combat play worship. Main phase. There we go. We're not going to skip that one. Right, so hopefully the third hate card against this deck sticks. <laughs> I, I have actually considered playing Thought Lost here myself in the sideboard, uh, just like as a two of. I think it's actually not that bad in this deck. It kind of acts like Vendillion Click. What's he blinking? My Golem. Okay, sure. Not sure why he's blinking my Golem now, um, but I'll take it. Blinking his Drowner. Sure. So this is what I mean about the Limvala. This is going to be a real bitch to uh, slog through, I think. Unless we can draw a path and then do it in response to his second activation. Yeah, I mean, we're just not blocking. We can just take five for now. Uh, this only hits... Uh, this, and I don't know how much enchantment removal he would have bought in. <laughs> I might ask the guy if he wants to play again after this, uh, just so that we can get some more testing in against this deck. Also, I really want to eat this pizza instead of talking to you guys, but I might, uh, might wait and then reheat it in a minute. Alright, that's uh. We've already said no for all of these, so. That's fine, that's fine. Land is fine. We start gavening. Get our kitchen thinks cycle going. Guess that'll do. That works for gavany anyway. For the next turn onwards. So we seem to have uh, got stuck again. Cancel. I'd like to. Oh, this is in my draw step, that's why. Oh, Modo. I think from now on, what I might do is make videos of me playing Paper Magic instead. Don't thought not see me. That's cheeky. I get to draw, though. So maybe we could draw like a Resto or a. Uh, or, or something that I can violin anyway. Oh, okay. So we're definitely violing in this. Because then he can only take a high rock. <laughs> so we'll make this. He can take my high rock. I can play the other high rock. <coughs> I'm glad Wizards thought that uh, Thorn Odyssey was a good idea. <laughs> like, Displacer I can get behind. It's not like really stupid, you know, 3 mana to, to blink something, it's, it's pretty reasonable. Thought Not Seer, however, is not Goyf, and Thought Seize on turn 2 is 
it's not okay. I, I'm I'm actually quite expecting there to be like a black green Eldrazi deck at some point. Uh, not doing anything here. He's just going to keep tapping me down, but I don't know if he can kill all my creatures. It's going to go really, really long for him to be able to blink all of my creatures out, so I'm just going to take all the damage. He's not even going to attack. Great. So now we do have the um, Gavany activation to reset the Kitchen Finks. Blade Splicer is good, I guess. We're never going to get to attack, though. This is the problem. Until we can deal with this Drowner. We just can't. Okay, so he's going to make me draw. I'm going to draw again. Fine, activate this. He can't take the Ghost Quarter, so I can Ghost Quarter... I can Ghost Quarter his Hallowed Fountain? Or his Urborg probably is better? The thing is, like, if I Ghost Quarter the... Oh, I'm just going to wait. I've got an Arbiter in play. I can't get rid of both of his colorless sources, which is kind of annoying. Alright, he's going to let us attack. Don't think he'd blink my Flicker Wisp. Don't think he'd be that silly. Right, so now we've got the Finks online. That means we can start <laughs> gaining life. We've got two four four first strikers that he has to deal with. Yeah, so he's going to blink something. So I'm going to destroy. I can't. I, I don't know. I don't think it's sensible to destroy one of his. No, of course it is. What am I talking about? Then he can only activate once per two turns instead of twice. I was just thinking I can't get rid of both of them, but I don't need to. I can just stop one activation each time. His 1-1s one aren't ever going to outclass my team, so... Let's just hope he lets me attack again by mistake, and then he'll die. Because we'll have 7 power on the Flicker Wisp. Path to Exile the Flicker Wisp. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't get to search. Alright. That's a fine draw. You gonna attack me? You gonna bother? Don't know if he wastes his time. I mean, I'm just gonna put a kitchen things under it and then gain two. This card's done so much work. Yeah, not even gonna bother attacking. Put the triggers on the stack. Brushland. Sure, it means I don't have to tap one of my high rocks, I guess. Is he going to blink? No. <laughs> I think this is pretty free attack. Um, he's probably just chump blocking with 1-1s, one but if we can will some of those down, that's fine. Fine with us. Ah, they sacrifice some mana, don't they? Okay. So he's just... Alright. <laughs> wow, this game is going to go long. I don't know if anyone watched SCG at the weekend, but there was the... Uh, uh, Blue Whale Eldrazi deck that had like 150 of these tokens in play. Because uh, neither deck had answers for it. That's really frustrating that he has, has colourless sources with the Scions. I'm a complete moron for not noticing that. Again, so the last two rounds have definitely been inexperience uh, against playing against certain decks. Need to draw a flyer. 
Need to, well, I don't know why I need to draw. <laughs> With Nolan Valo, I really have no idea. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, Path would do it. Eldrazi display. I forget that Eldrazi space can't blink itself. Um, it's not like uh, he's not, he's not like us where we can displace her a flicker wisp or a resto to save our displacer. He just has to. Uh, he can only blink his Drowner, and then we'll have the grind of trying to get through all of these tokens. So, Path, please, deck. We have 13 minutes to draw Path. That's not it, but that's a perfectly adequate thing to put on the board right now, I think. I really hope we draw our displace it. Oh, no, no, no. Now I've just given away that I've got something. Oh, dear. I'm so bad at this. I've just given away that I've got a Thrag Tusk in my hand by, uh, in my draw step trying to cast it. <laughs> That's super awkward. Oh, dear. Alright, let's draw a path. Yes. Thank you. I'm not sad now that he's uh, taking my Thrag Tusk. Because we dealt with his first Displacer of four. <laughs> he can't search unless he sacrifices two of his dudes. Yeah, I, I, in my draw step I tried to start playing a Thrag Tusk. I didn't realize it was still my draw step. I thought it was my main phase one. And then he blinked his, uh, yeah, that was awkward. Alex plays Modo. That's what this video series should be called. Alex plays Modo badly. Oh, I got to attack. <laughs> yeah, let's make him chump block, I guess. Oh, I could just attack with everything, couldn't I? I... I then actually have to, uh start chump blocking things. I think that might have been a mistake on his part. He's just throwing away loads of tokens. He's going to have to put six in front of this to kill it. A Leonin Arbiter. Seven. And one in front of a Kitchen Fix. Uh, he's trying to kill this. I have a Gavany Township. So it's a 5-5 five five at present, and then I have Gamley Township, which makes it a 6-6. Six six. I am more than happy to trade off with loads and loads of tokens. I think he should just be running Chomp Blocks. I actually don't care about his Thought Not Seer here. Yeah, 5. Oh, I w I, it doesn't matter, I'll kill all three of them. I have six power here when I activate my Gavany Township, so it doesn't matter. What do you mean? I won't, I won't miss my Gavany Township, I promise. Just everything else. I might miss it if it doesn't do anything right now. I, I, did, I pressed F2. Alright, okay. I'm really, really not competent with playing Magic Online. It's a skill that I do not possess. I have Worship in play. I'm just trading off with all of his Scions so that I can actually start attacking him again. Oh, I get to draw a card. Oh, I get to Ghost Court him. Yeah, oh no, he's got his... Um, I don't have Arbiter now. That's a shame. Uh, I might just save it, I think. Leave it in my hand. Just threaten something here. I'm so glad I managed to kill off all the Scions. Yeah. Yeah. 
Unless he plays another Drowner right now for six. <laughs> Sky Spawner. Okay. He can't. I killed his uh, Displacer. Yeah, I passed his Displacer. Okay, but he doesn't have three mana, so he can't activate it this turn. So he played something for three and the, and the bounce? Yes, but he can't actually flick anything this turn. So I get to trade with his whole board, because these are five sixes. These are four I don't see it. This place so small. Yeah, he's only got two that he can sacrifice here. He can tap some of my creatures, but can't do anything about my board. Like I said, I really think that we're favoured when it comes to um, board stools. Like, if we can deal with this, which is why I want Limvala so much, then I don't, I don't see how he beats us, you know? Like, we have access to two Gavany Townships, which is reasonable. One, two, three. Yeah, he has to just chomp block with everything, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. So... I guess he gets to keep his Drowner or his Displacer this time. Why? Because he, g I've got five attackers. Oh, five, He's got six yeah. blockers. Um, he can't trade with anything. He just has to th throw things in the way. Yeah. So all of my creatures. Yeah, conceded. All right, sure. So we went four and one in this. We beat the blue-white Eldrazi despite them taking Intrepid Hero, Limvala, and Arthrag Tusk. Fine. Um, they had. I, I don't. I don't think he played correctly. I. I wouldn't have let me attack on that last turn. I would have just been sacking guys to tap creatures. I think. Although it works out the same as just chomp blocking with ones, but it does buy you more time if you just chomp block each one rather than uh, trying to kill my creatures. If he chomp blocks, he can buy himself more time, and then he gets to displace it from then on because it'd have more scions to be able to throw away for blinking the fire file again, thus delaying his uh, delaying his, his defeat. Um, so I think he messed up in that point. I'm not sure about the sideboarding. Worship is great. Livala does seem really, really good against that kind of draw. I'm not sure what to think about the, uh, the loss to, to Living End. I played that really horrifically. I didn't keep good hands. I mean, I am not going to play around a double Simeon Spirit Guide, I don't think. So it's not so bad. Um, what is this view my previous decks? Okay. I think the list is strong. I think the list is really strong. The the Ewitz overperformed. Go to prison. I'm, I'm really not sure about the Celestial Flare. I think that's first on the chopping board. Is is this Celestial Flare? Um. Maybe for a second rest in peace, or maybe I put the Scoos back in. Uh, because the games it is good, it, it's insane in. And if Abzan Company is a good answer to Eldrazi, for the same reason we are, um, of being able to clog up the board, they obviously have the infinite life, which is slightly better than our game 2 from a kitchen thinks, but it's still the similar principle of they get to clog up the board, they get the first strike damage in, or, or repeatable blockers, that kind of stuff. Um, if that is a popular answer, then maybe we want a scavenging use for the upcoming GP in March. Um, I would love to hear people's feedback on how bad I am at playing Magic Online, about our deck list and how we can improve it, if anyone has any advice for matchups, or is even testing the deck themselves and just wants to discuss stuff. Like, like I said, there's a team of like four or five of us discussing card choices and answers and stuff, so it'd be really cool to to get some like group input um, put it up on the YouTube thing if not follow us on Facebook like go on the Gameplays Facebook uh, do you have Twitter as well Flitchy? no we're gonna get a Twitter we're gonna get a Twitter account so you can follow us on Twitter um, that'll be all game related stuff whether it's uh, board games video games like Smash Bros going on at the moment and uh, Magic Online Magic and Paper I think uh, if I can convince Flutchy to do it, it'll be like uh, event postings on Twitter as well. If I can convince him to uh, to do that, because it's a good platform. Yeah, it's a good platform to to be looking at. So expect a uh, game place Twitter soon. I'm gonna bully him into that. Um, yeah, so come hang out, come say hi, 
leave a comment, like our page, etc. And then uh, laugh at how bad I am at Magic Online. I will see you again next week for some more Death and Taxes videos. I might even play a blue-white taxes video that we've uh, deck that we've been brewing up with some meddling mages and some reflector mages, but you got to get really lucky for us to play that because at the moment it's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, catch you later, guys. Bye.